second topic that is kingdom protesta so now let's start okay in kingdom protesta cell wall is present or absent it can be present also it can be absent also okay in the kingdom protesta the cell type is eukaryotic in kingdom protesta the cell type is eukaryotic and the nuclear membranes are also present as we had seen from the table the body organization is unicellular okay the body organization is unicellular okay uh, it also contains well defined nucleus kingdom protesta also contain well defined nucleus okay eukaryotic uh, sorry kingdom protesta also had membrane bound organelles it also contains membrane bound organelles okay what four characteristic we learned we learned cell wall is present or absent can be present also absent also cell type is eukaryotic and kingdom protesta nuclear membrane is present the body organization is unicellular it also contains well defined nucleus it is important okay you can star mark here it also contain membrane bound organelles now the mode of nutrition the mode of nutrition is autotrophic and heterotrophic it can be autotrophic also and heterotrophic also we seen that if heterotrophic it is saprophytic and parasitic but in autotrophic it is photosynthetically autotroph the mode of nutrition is photosynthetically autotrophs it can it do not contains well defined boundaries okay you can star mark here also they do not contains any well defined boundaries there are no well defined boundaries possessed by the kingdom protista members of protista are primarily aquatic generally they are saying generally the members of protista are aquatic itself okay they reproduce by asexually by cell fusion and sexually by the zygote formation asexually by the cell fusion sexually by the zygote formations okay again revising the cell wall is present or absent cell type is eukaryotic it also contain well defined nucleus and membrane bound organelles nuclear membranes are present body organization is unicellular mode of nutrition is autotrophic also as well heterotrophic also in autotrophic it is photosynthetically autotroph heterotrophic means saprophytic and parasitic okay they do not contain any well defined boundaries also they are aquatic okay they can reproduce asexually also and sexually also if asexually then by the cell fusion sexually zygote formation they have five kind of protista okay five classification is there they are chryophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans okay chryophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans these five we have to remember the five classification of the kingdom protista are these okay there are c d e s p you can remember by c d e s p okay these letters you can take and remind in your mind that it contains chryophytes the photodinoflagellates euglenoid slime molds and protozoans now coming here to the chryophytes the first one chryophytes contains di diatoms and golden algae desmids okay chryophytes generally it is important the example this uh, used to come in the example form you can star mark here in chryophyte diatoms and golden algae Uh, they possessed what diatom and golden algae golden algae is also known as desmids okay first point found in fresh water as well as marine environment it is found in fresh water also it is found in marine environment also okay they are microscopic and float passively in water currents kaise hote hain ye microscopic hote hain aur passively float karte hain in the water currents and they are generally known as plankton ये जो प्लैंक्टन होते हैं ये क्या करते रहते हैं फ्लोट करते हैं इन द वाटर करेंट्स ओके इन द वाटर टाइप्स मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर फोटोसिंथेटिक मोस्ट ऑफ देम जो होते हैं ये फोटोसिंथेटिक होते हैं ओके सेल वॉल फॉर्म्स टू थिन ओवरलैपिंग शेल्स इनकी जो सेल वॉल होती है जनरली यूज टू फॉर्म टू थिन ओवरलैपिंग शेल्स विच फिट्स टू कैदर इन अ सोप बॉक्स इफ यू सी सोप बॉक्स 
so generally it contains what a uh, kind of fixed fixed attachment a overlap attachment okay so their cell wall are as similar as a soap box so they described likewise that cell wall of forms two thin overlapping shells the cell wall forms what they form two thin overlapping shells which fit together fit together like what they fit together like a soap box okay walls are embedded with silica unki jo walls hoti hain ye embedded hoti hain fixed hoti hain with silica they are also indestructible okay they are what indestructible okay diatoms left behind large amount of cell wall deposits over billion years jo diatoms hote hain they used to left behind very large amount of cell wall deposits over billion of billion years and after the billion or million years they used to form a diatomaceous earth they form diatomaceous earth then they are known as diatomaceous earth after so long years they used to get uh, formed in the uh, form of diatomaceous earth okay being gritty these are uh, kind of gritty form grittiness they used to possess and they can be used for oils okay they can use for oils they